I'm Martin Le Crecollet, and I'm a researcher at the University of Birmingham inside the Livable Cities Research Program. My current research is located precisely at the interface between psychology and environmental sciences. And what I, plus a couple of other people, are trying to do is answering two mainly interconnected questions. The first one is why nature does us good, because we know nature does us good, an immense amount of good, but we don't understand exactly why. We know that we benefit from being outdoor, for health purposes mainly. We know that seeing green or vegetated areas is actually very good for our mental well-being, for our health. We know that it helps us de-stress and relax. The thing we don't understand is why. Is it actually seeing the color green? Is it actually seeing some vegetation? Is it a disposition of landscape? We know that we benefit from that. We just don't know why. So we're trying to sort that out first. And then there is another problem that is closely linked to that that we need to sort out, which is why. Because when we know that we might actually be reacting to the color green, that we might be reacting to seeing landscape. The problem is why? Is it something that we actually inherited from our ancestors? Is it a genetic memory, if you want? Which means that we've been conditioned that, in a way, that we react to a certain disposition of landscape. Because our ancestors knew that a certain disposition of landscape, flat or slightly hilly, with a bit of sparse bushes, meant that we could see any potential aggression coming. It meant that we had, you know, a good chance of running away, because at, at some times in history, having a saber tooth tiger on your back might be a real, real threat. Or it meant that we could see the food where it was and where lo water was located. Or is it something which is actually a bit more complex, that would be a cultural conditioning? Are we reacting to some things like we've seen in books when we were kids? Or because our parents told us that this was a proper garden and this is where you should relax? It can go a bit further up, you know, in terms of generations. It's probably a cultural context, because we know that people react differently depending on the country they're from, depending on their upbringing. But we still can't disentangle that properly. And we know it's probably a mix of both. We are probably both reacting to what we've been conditioned over centuries to react to, and to what we've been given as persons from our upbringing. That's what I'm trying to do. Thank you.